So I have a tchotchke self in my office that keeps all sorts of strange mementos, things I've collected, whatnot like that in it. And one of the side goals with my uh, work in the LED was to be able to illuminate this Dungeons and Dragons set. My son and I liked playing it and once we were wandering around downtown in Portsmouth. And our favorite store there, Diversions, had this kit where you could basically build your own dungeons. We took one look at each other and said, we got to have it, and bought all of them, which is a good thing, because I think the company that makes them went out of business. Anyway, this is now lit with just one of the LEDs. This is to give a look around before I do the next part of the video, which is meant for evil Andy Brower. I think he'll love it. All right, this first color is in memory of times past and a galaxy far, far away, where the primary color was teal, and many of the monsters from where the wild things were romped around Tal 1 and Tal 2. This is the system running the first of the stored light programs that I've named Fire Pulse. Um, I was sped it up a bit from the speed I normally run it at just because otherwise the video would be long and boring. And this is the second stored illumination. This is more meant to be like swamp gas lighting, what have you. There's a serious reason for this. I'm experimenting with what the various controls are to, uh, for the LEDs to have automated behavior in as few program bytes as possible. But anyway, Andy, this one's for you. Told the whole story with it, everything else like that. Don't you need something like this for your weekly adventure games? You'd probably get mad and hit it, though. Anyway, technically, this is a demonstration of a single LED for the wine display, which will have 36 of them.